So we finally did it. Time in a bottle automation is ours. And now, for the best armor set in the entire game. Except, look behind me. Look at that storage system. Is that the storage system of someone who deserves the best item in the entire game? Or armor in the entire game? Maybe both? No. No, it isn't. But luckily, these time in a bottles help us unlock the next and final set of storage, matter energy. So today is gonna be all about getting our act together and actually using these time in a bottles for something pretty cool. And in order to do that, we're going to need some time machines, which are not actually terribly hard to make. We just need some radiant mechanisms, times in a bottle over a superheated blaze burner. And thankfully we can make no small amount of these lovely little radiant machines. So our only limiting factor is actually going to be how fast our time in a bottles are produced, but hey, at least it's automatic. And superheating this blaze burner will be no problem with an LPG bucket, but I do want to make sure we're making enough time machines. You need to use four time in a bottles to make it one time machine. Oh, hello, drink me up. Oh, whoop. Don't get sucked into the crystal loop, okay, buddy? Anyways, we need four time in a bottles to mix on up. I want to leave this one since it has so much time stored into it, so we're going to be using these guys initially, and we're going to get a ton of time mechanisms and the proper casing from even unlocking this, but let's just toss. I think it has to be one at a time, unfortunately. Oh, nope. I guess, I guess we could do that kind of weirdness, but whatever. Anyways, use superheat. Mix, 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 and bada-bing, bada-boom time mechanisms they're so cool and the best part is we get 32 of those and eight endurium casing uh endurium casing is the casing you use obviously for the time machines and endurium ingots are a little annoying to get because we need diamond dust lead dust and ender pearls so it is kind of nice to not have to do this so we can actually make five time machines and these are pretty pretty cool i you can't actually use them to go back in time unfortunately but uh, uh, we can use them to change our future of storage. Although you and the audience don't need a time machine if you want to change the future, especially if you're a parent because of the sponsor of today's episode, CodeMonkey. CodeMonkey is an amazing online service that aims to teach young people how to code. That's right, the future is technology and technology is code. So if you want your own little time machine, CodeMonkey is there to help. CodeMonkey is perfect for all ages of young people, all the way from pre-readers to teenagers. Pre-readers will get to engage in fun block coding with engaging characters, bright and colorful styles, and cute little animations, and teenagers will even get to engage in text-based coding all the way up to making their own games. And let me tell you, programming is a valuable skill. As someone who actually learned programming at a young age, it was far more than just a career opportunity. Absolutely. Code is all about problem solving, creativity, and freedom. It really opens up the mind of people who learn it. It's literally like learning a foreign language. It is amazing. This is a skill that will not only help your children find jobs in this new tech-based world, but will also help them find independence and sort of this freedom and creativity. Seriously, programming may look like just numbers and math and text on a screen, but I promise you it is a beautiful art form. It's extremely engaging. So if you want to learn more, check out the link I've left in the description to see what CodeMonkey is all about. And thank you to CodeMonkey for sponsoring this video. So now with our time machines, one of the first things we're going to want to do is cut one into an ME controller. That is going to sort of be the base. Yes, the networking switchboard, I suppose. We're going to be running power and stuff into that. Uh, I believe we're also going to want to turn these. There's so many things you have to turn these into. I think we're going to want a drive, which means we need an ME chest, which means we actually need a radiant machine and a chest. Another thing from the radiant machine line I'm thinking is not illumin- no, is a the illuminated panel? <laughs> Matter energy confuses me to no end. No, it's a radiant machine and a sequential fabricator, which is a radiant machine and a crafting table, so I gotta make up a few more radiant machines. Three should be enough. So, chest, crafting table, sequential fabricator, chest goes in here, and boom, we have the drive. Okay, there we go. So these are the bases for most matter energy systems, and I can even just kind of set them down here. We're not going to be using them just yet because we don't really have any way to connect any of them, but uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. To connect them, we're going to need these smart cables or Fluix cables or whatever they're called, and that does mean that Henry, the light blue, Emmy-covered cable, 
is going to have some time to shine. In fact, you know what? Henry should be the one that connects the terminal to the controller. Right on top, big and proud, boom. Henry, you are our guy. Now, right now the device is currently offline, we don't have any power running to it, but we'll, we'll fix that. Now, technically speaking, we don't really need any more cables, but just in case, we can make fluid stuff decently easily. We just need Certus Quartz. And Certus Quartz is kind of made in the same way that Redstone is made. You see, you need Certus Quartz seeds, you need Sky Solution, and sand. So, we should be able to make a ton of Certus Quartz, because we'll need that to uh, make the storage drives. With this machine over here, and some minor modifications. But the big question is, do I even have any any Certus Quartz, whoops, do I even have any Certus Quartz lying around? Because if I don't, ooh, we actually do, we have Certus Quartz Dust, which I think we can smelt into Certus Quartz Crystals, hopefully. Because we're gonna need a lot of these guys. Yeah, there we go, okay. And uh, those minor modifications I was talking about are is just gonna be me manually tossing everything in. This is kinda still set up to be a redstone cooking machine, but it doesn't have to be. It can be repurposed. It can do other things. Isn't that the same machine that makes noses? It can do other things. Why shouldn't it? Anyways, as you can see, the seeds are going to work in the same exact way. So we can fling the seeds on over and they will start processing into the clumpy cluster thingamadoos. Uh, it's not going to work very well because I don't have the filters set up right. There we go. I mean, at the very, at the very least, uh, I can remove the filters and set the deny here to Certus uh, Quartz Cluster now. And there we go. Look at it all filtering in. It should give us 60, I think. We should have three times the amount of Certus Quartz that we put in. I guess 54 is good, too? I suppose at six off, though, what... <laughs> What, what hap- what happened? What happened to six of them? Okay, fine. Whatever. Still works. Still works. Oh! 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 It just- it just fell out and cooked. That's all that happened. Okay, so I was right. 60 Sturtis Quartz Crystals. And you know what? Because I'm paranoid and I don't want to run out, we're just gonna run all those back through the system again. It'll take a little bit to process all of this, I'm sure, but, uh... uh whatever. In the meantime, we can make more time mechanisms since we're going to need them for the storage drive. So I'll turn eight more of our lovely, lovely little time in a bottles into storage mechanisms. And you know what? You know, these produce decently fast. I made a. This is a pretty good machine, actually. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, back to the weird animation bug. Not not sure what that's about, but fine. I love this little train of Certus Quartz. And uh, there we go, that is a ton of Certus Quartz crystals. That should, should carry us over, that should carry us over. Alrighty, so with Certus Quartz in hand, what we're going to want to be doing is filling this fella with drives, okay? With discs, I think is actually what they're called. No, are they called drives? What are they called? Cells, of course. Now, unfortunately, we can only make up to the 4K ME item cell, uh, because anything above the storage component, the 4K storage component, requires these super annoying calculation processors. And they're super annoying because they require finished PCBs. And, uh, we don't have access to that. That's chapter four stuff. And, you know, this advanced card is a calculation process. Yeah, and just, just to be clear, if you go to this thing, finish PCBs, just to prove that I'm not being lazy, is this entire chapter. Mm, we're not doing that entire chapter right now. So, we're just gonna need to make a bunch of 1K and 4K storage components. And both of these require, uh, time machines in their crafting recipe. But otherwise aren't too terribly expensive. Though, I think we're gonna need a few more time machines because right now I only have eight. Alrighty, so for the 1K storage parts, look at that. We can make 24, which is a multiple of three, which is good because you do need three of them to create the next one, although we did just run out of right. Well, we also need to make this quartz glass stuff. So, let me get on that. Quartz glass is pretty easy, if not a little bit strange to make, because for some reason we have to run these Certus Quartz Crystals across this saw to make the dust instead of putting them in crushing wheels. You'd think it'd be crushing wheels, it's saws. I, I, I guess this is because maybe you need it for something early game, but what would you need this for early game? I have no idea. 
Otherwise, as you can see, this is not a difficult recipe to make, except I ran out of glass. As I was saying, this recipe is not very hard to make. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna dump all this stuff in here, I think redstone too, and we should be able to make, yes indeed, or one redstone, ah, just grab the one piece of redstone, we it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I'm so prepared, I'm so professional, you guys know me, I'm DJ of the house, so many ways there's eight, boom, ah, we can make more than eight, I thought we couldn't, we could make ten, I didn't know we could make ten, means I need more time in the bottles, okay, there we go, ten 4k ME storage components, which we do now need to build housing for us. Not the fluid storage housing. We need to build the storage cell housing, which is more quartz glass, more redstone, and a bit of iron. But once again, all stuff that we have access to, uh, it's not a lot of quartz glass, though, so we need more of that. Oh, we have a s item cell housing for some reason. Okay, interesting. We must have gotten that from a loot crate of some kind. Oh, we could make just enough because of it. Amazing. Boom. Okay, I can't shift click these out for some reason, so boom, 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 boom. And I'm pretty sure that means we can fill every last slot. Each of these can store, it can store 63 different types of items, and I think 4,000 total items. So, I, I think that's how this works and what it means, but of course at the moment we're running on a bit of an issue. Uh, it's not powered. There's actually nothing going on here. We need energy. We need power. Power! And I think the easiest way to do that is to run a super long line from all the way over here. Right to this guy and hook a capacitor up to it. Capacitor, I'm sorry, hook a, hook a, not a capacitor, what's it called? An alternator. An alternator is what the thing is called that I want to do. The question is, can these go upwards? Ooh, they can. Oh, they can, that's really cool, actually. Nice, nice, nice. So that means I just need to get a gearbox rotation right under there, and we can run ourselves a nice super dupa line. I am out of gearboxes. This is a very strange bug. I, I have to wonder what causes this. I don't think I've done anything. It must be on the most recent update or something. But uh, yeah, it's working. It's doing. You can see it's doing the thing. Okay. All right. Now, bada bing, bada boom, bam. Sweet. All we need is some fast moving rotation to head downwards here, and I think we're good. I love this powering an Emmy system with Create. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And of course, we're overpowering it because we're amazing like that. Uh, now I do have to patch up the entire giant hole that I dug underneath my entire base. But yeah, all right, that'll grass right up. And this means that we have a fully functioning ME storage system, which is amazing, which is amazing, which is amazing because he's got a crafting table built in and as you can see, look at this, we can just dump our items right in and you might be wondering, DJojo, 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 why is this better than this, right? Why, why is, why is logic cables worse than this? Well, for one, this is physical storage, so we actually have to use items and chests and stuff, and look at how ugly it is. Look at all the space that is being taken up, okay? And second of all, this is much less laggy because it's all digital storage based, right? It's not using actual things in the game. Every time I open this up, every time I search something in, right, it's lurking, th it's lurking, it's searching through all these chests, but no more. All right, I've cleared out my inventory because all that's left to do is to quite literally go through all of our storage and just pull everything out, which I guess I should do chest by chest, and I think that'll go much faster, and dump all of it into the Emmy storage system. Hype, 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 hype. Actually, you know what? There is a faster way of doing this. Yeah, there we go. There are like magnets in this pack. Hold on. Because I've done this before with like a little magnet thing. What is this? Magnet upgrade. Oh, no. Uh... Magnetic modifier, uh, copper magnet, mm, wait, when held attracts item. Ooh, hold on, it needs netherite, oh, but it'd be so satisfying to do it with netherite. All right, excuse this extremely silly interruption, but I want it bad. Also, this is so cool, this little time in a bottle thing. Look how much faster we can smelt our chicken. So, hold on, we're at 31 hours, 38 minutes. Wow, yeah, that does not consume a ton of time. Look how fast that's going now. Time in a bottle is so cool. 
too bad most of the stuff is create mud components, which I think are affected by it, but, like, uh, they're pretty fast already. This is nice, though. This I can appreciate. This I can get behind. Yum, 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 yum. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the nether and try to get netherite. Actually, just gonna check. Hold on, hold on. Let me check that there's no netherite ingots in any chests near me. Netherite scrap, nope. Netherite blocks, nope. All right, we don't have netherite anywhere near us. You can check nearby chests and stuff by pressing Y. Check this out, I was smart. I brought a warp scroll with me so I could zip out of whatever cave we make for ourselves because warp scrolls, they don't work cross-dimensionally, but they do work inside of the dimension you're in. And you usually have to go pretty far down, obviously, to get yourself a decent supply of, like, netherite mining capabilities. I like that little mushroom guy. I hope he's not villainous or going to harm me. Oh, no, he's so cute, your little shroomling. All right, we're going to go straight down. Probably an unwise thing to do in the nether. I think it's why I leveled... Oh my gosh, the panic that just entered my heart when I saw that. I think it's by level 12 that we need netherrack at, so we're just gonna play the netherrack game. Ooh, ancient debris. Hello, how are you today? Give me, I guess we'll just mine at this Y level since it's brought us good fortune. Look at that, three already. We're actually almost done. This is gonna go so fast. Can I get more ancient debris out of ancient debris? Hold on, sometimes there's ways to get, like, easier ancient debris. Oh, I can! I don't- I, we're done! Three is totally enough. Zip! That was so fast! Thank you, modded Minecraft, for being so cool. That was a terrifying sound that just played. So, all I got to do is squeeze ya. Uh, boom! Boom, baby! Boom, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we can make ourselves the netherite, and then we can get the copper magnet, which said, if I hold it, we'll suck up items nearby me. So if I throw this, oh yes, oh yes, okay, 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 get ready, get ready. I imagine I can offhand it too, just checking. <laughs> boom, 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 oh yeah, boom. Boom, 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 look at me. I'm full of things. And then I just sit here and go. I'm so happy. Uh, I had an enemy drive already, whoops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. I love it, I love every second of it. Yeah, I'm no longer a Minecraft channel. I am now awesome ASMR. There's literally no better sound in the world than this. No better sound in the world than that. Like, how? How? What even? How? What mod has this? Uh, that looks like Create Stuffs and Additions. Great job, Create Stuffs and Additions. Amazing job. These chests are like shulker boxes, so I gotta, like, you know, use my old Vault Hunter's, uh, skills of just dropping items onto the ground for them. Boom, boom, boom. Speaking of, I'm streaming Vault Hunters on Twitch. By the way, I do that. You should follow me there. And that's it? That's the last of the integrated dynamic system completely compacted into these blocks and look at Henry it puts a tear in my eye finally his purpose has been known look at this look at this this is amazing in fact I don't even think I need this setup like it is at the moment let's let's fix it let's fix it now of course Carl needs a premier spot right there what a beautiful sight to behold new base new me and soon new armor Oh ho ho, this marks a good new day. Yes indeed.